Hello. So I did manage to get here before my baby Jasper turned up. I have to go and get baby Jasper. He's so cute. All right. Ooh, let me adjust. Adjust. Oh, the lighting's not that great, is it? Woo! No, it's not that great. Mm, not that great. I should have checked this out before I before I got on. All right. We're going to do it anyway. Lighting's not great. Time of the day is strange. Everyone's probably busy. Um, oh, but I do have some friends joining from the other side of the world. So there's a little bit more light, although... Hmm, it's a funny shade, that light. But here we are. The Creative Warrior. Day... Ta da Day eight. Ooh. The quote for today is, Art is the stored honey of the human soul. By Theodore Dreiser. I think that would be pronounced. I haven't actually didn't know of Theodore Dreiser, Dreiser before doing this book. Um, Art is the stored honey of the human soul. I feel like that. I feel like I have a big pot of honey in me. And then when I do an artwork that f kind of like feeds me my own honey. <laughs> See, never, never have to be hungry if you're an artist. Contrary to popular belief. Because you have a stored pot of honey as a soul. Actually, that reminds me of... Um, you know how people always say the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Well, one day I was in a meditation. It was a meditation group actually and they were taking us through um, a meditation, a chakra meditation. And so they had us close our eyes and they moved as though we were a lighthouse and we had seven rooms and in each room was a colour that match the chakra that we were we were cleansing and clearing then when we got to the seventh room I imagined myself stepping out of the lighthouse you know how they have the railing around and I stepped out and I stood on the balcony and all of a sudden I could see every color in my chakras just flowering over an ocean and it occurred to me immediately the pot of gold is us we are the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow if the chakra system is anything to go by very interesting contemplate that interesting isn't it because we all go seeking we don't all go seeking but so many of us go seeking um seeking wisdom and seeking enlightenment and seeking everything and this is just another idea that made me realize we already have what it is that we seek so in relation to art how does that translate well, you have it already you have what you seek if you are feeling the desire to be creative then do it you don't need anything you don't need to learn anything or to get anywhere to be creative. We're naturally being creative all the time, as I say often, because your thoughts will become things. Well, they do. We just are amazing, deliberate creators manifesting consistently. You have to acknowledge that so we can start to deliberately choose our, our intentions to manifest more of the things that feel good. Okay, so the question, can you see it? right here have you ever watched a child create well I have hundreds of them and um, it's amazing it's really really inspiring you watch a child who isn't feeling pressure make marks and you suddenly realize that all of your marks are valid there's no greater realization than that you watch them and you realize that you're valid too. 
especially if you don't judge them and go, oh, they're just a child, they're just doing that. They're actually creating art. Of course they are. It's natural. I think my children are going to turn up in here in a minute. So bear with, bear with. The suggestion for today from our book is imagine you were sitting with yourself as a child and encourage yourself to make a piece of art any way you like and then value that artwork highly. Now, a child that isn't under pressure will create an artwork and they'll love it. They'll tell you they love it and they'll tell everybody they love it. They'll tell the next door neighbor how much they love it. They're not frightened. It's only when we bring pressure into our art making that we do tend to feel some kind of, um, no, that stupid judgment comes up. You know, judgment is good for it. It has its purposes, but for this purpose, it's about opening the heart and awakening the self so that you are free to create and then do what you like with it, develop your skills, whatever. But it's the freedom from bondage within that I'm interested in. And the more I release myself, the better my art becomes. And it's not so much better for others, it's better for me. I feel more satisfied. I feel more excited. I feel more inspired. And um, I seem to receive more information and insight regarding my artworks too. So that's interesting. That's another, that's for another day. Okay, because I'm on a quick, I'm on a bit of a time schedule, schedule or schedule, depending where you live in the world. I've had such a good day. I went and got stripes. Can you see them? <laughs> I said last time, if you've been following this, you'll know that I see my stripes. I like them. I didn't get many stripes. My wonderful hairdresser, I can't see them. I can't find them for you. You're just coming to have to look for the stripes yourself. My great hair stylist, Anne, does a wonderful job with my hair. It's unruly crazy hair and she just uses her creative warrior powers to do things to it that it just is. My hair's happy when it goes to Anne. And she gave me lavender, bunch of lavender flowers. She's so cute. Thank you, Anne, if you watch this video. Sketch warrior, sketch, sketch warrior. There's another one. We'll do another course after this called Sketch Warrior. This is Sketch Angel and I didn't actually... Did you see my post? I, um, I uh, modelled last night um, for life drawing in Mwollomba. So any locals who want to do some life drawing, great. Contact me and I'll let you know when it's on and everything. It's great fun. M Arts Precinct is holding it. And um, I've been a model for a long time and I did that to get over myself. <laughs> get over yourself, Anna. So what? You're flesh and blood. You've got saggy tits. Who cares? Dimples on your bum. Oh, you're a woman. Okay. So, this is what I'm going off. My little kundalini card. Your ideas are worthy. As worthy as that free child's ideas to express. So I'm going to do my sketch angel from that. I'll put it down so you don't look at that. I look at that and I'm going to draw and hopefully you'll see. You'll see my lines. And it should only take 10 seconds. Everyone can do it. And I'd love to see yours. And I'm seeing more and more. Love it. All right, here we go. Well, there she is, there she is. There's my little sketch angel. She's pretty happy and there's her big wings this time. See? Everyone can do that. We can all make sketch angels together. I think they're phenomenal. I love them. I think they're beautiful. Can always play with them a little bit more, refine them. You know, did a hundred of them, you'd soon find the lines that you like in a row. Push it, push it, baby, push it. Guess what? 
makes it sound so exciting. Um, no, but all of you wonderful friends and followers who have bought a calendar, they arrived today. They're here. And they're not upside down. It is a worthy of celebration. They are not upside down and they are lovely little calendars. And now I've sold most of them. I only had 25 made, but because they messed it up, they sent me another five. So I have five more to sell. So there's about five or six left. Um, they're only 39 bucks and that includes postage. And they come with, wait for it, wait for it, God, why aren't I organised? I don't know where I put it, but um, surprise artworks, original artworks. So if you think I'm going to be famous one day, like I think, <laughs> so I'm not delusional. If you think I'm going to be famous, then this is a cheap way to get some original art. Re this is a cheap, just about the cheapest way, unless you just bought one of my sketch angels because I basically give those ones away. But um, yeah, if you, if you want to be one of those 30 people to own a, a-OK, -okay, Art of Kundalini, 2018 calendar. Um, hop onto the website, artofkundalini.com. I'll write that underneath. Um, and grab one because you'll get a surprise piece of original Bart's art to hang upon your wall or give away if you don't like it. That's all right. Okay, so you know how much I just love your company and i um, glad you're there. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. And you'll see this sketch angel go up later. I didn't colour her wings in. Mm, I've got to go anyway. got to go and get Jasper. Um, there's so much I could tell you. But I feel like I talked really fast. <laughs> I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Day nine tomorrow. So many days left for us to connect. <laughs>